Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Lan here and I want to show you my 120 days mini Thai pepper plants today. Actually, 127 days to be exact. I planted these two peppers the same time as the petunias back in February. I already transplanted the petunias outdoor and then decided to keep these peppers indoor indefinitely. In today's video, I will do some basic maintenance um, obviously harvesting the hundreds of peppers here and then trim back some of the branches uh, take out some of the suckers and trim the roots all right let's see what we have in shop a couple of years ago i bought the mother pepper plant from home depot the label said hot ornamental peppers or something like that for hydroponic it is ideal to get dwarf varieties of anything like peppers, eggplants, beans, celery, and so on. I planted that pepper outdoor in my soil garden. At the end of the growing season, I harvested the peppers and then dry them up to preserve the seeds. I have been using these seeds for the past couple of years and share with friends and family. Anyway, these two plants were grown from these seeds of the mother plants. I think it's important to trim off any weak and leggy branches like these so that the plants focus on the strong branches and produce bigger and more peppers. Although these leggy branches have flowers, the peppers are very tiny and often defected. And don't be afraid to trim them off. I prefer to trim any branches that are outside of the lighting area. Alright, let's move on to the other side. So leggy. I feel super guilty that I have not done much maintenance in the past 3 months. What I'm doing right here is taking out the suckers at the bottom of the plant. It's easy to identify the suckers. You just need to trace the main branch and trim off anything growing from there. Just imagine your pepper plant is a 100 years old tree. You want to trim the branches around the base of that tree to make it into an umbrella shape. Clean underneath and bountiful canopy at the top. I didn't adjust the light too high up, therefore the top is very dense. I'm going to move the light about 6 inches up after everything is said and done. You can see some of the flowers and leaves got burned a little bit. But I have to say, I'm glad I left the light a bit low so that they preserve the dwarf characteristic. If you like spicy food like I do, having these peppers is a must. There's always fresh peppers indoor year round for you to harvest. At Asian store, a tiny bag of chili peppers is $5 now comparing to $2 a couple of years ago. I'm glad I don't have to buy peppers anymore. While I'm at it, let me separate the two plants at the top so that they have some room to breathe. Much tidier now. I'm going to freeze these peppers. Now let's tackle the roots. Make sure you unplug the pump before lifting this top up to avoid water splashing out. Been there, done that. As usual, I'm going to cut off one third of the roots. This way they don't get tangled up and promote healthy root growth. So don't be afraid to touch up the roots, okay? It's as simple as one, two, three when it comes to root trimming. Let it rest here while I go change the water. Once in a while, it's good to change the whole reservoir instead of topping off the water. Alright, I have to say, I hate AeroGuard Nutrient Bottle Design. They are a multi-million dollar business and can't come up with a better design to prevent spillage. Every time I open this container, I just want to throw it in the trash. Very messy and it smells so bad. Oh, by the way, the turkey plaster is mine. I had to spend extra money to get this thing to measure, and it's not that accurate. I have the syringe, but it's just not long enough for this purpose. I'm trying out another product that is comparable to Aero Garden. It's called Urban Leaf. I love the bottle design, but 
I'm going to do an experiment to compare Aragon nutrient and urban leaf side by side. It's going to be the next video that I'm going to upload. So stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe for future content. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.